Shalom <coughs> and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Pastor Paul Shofar Maker. Now I have a one new man Yemenite Kudu Shofar video 1013 J size and our J size is anything measured after 42 inches right up to 45 inches around the external curve external curve of the horn yeah and uh, this is a uh, semi polish uh, shofar meaning one side is a uh, full polish the other side is natural yeah so this is not yet a shofar but it's already making on the way there we are going to tune this particular shofar before you yeah so the color here you can see base color is uh, olive cream color to coffee brown color and as we move on <coughs> you will see the uh, maroon purplish colors coming out the patterns you see that here's the layers of her uh, the horn as we polish it down we will have different colors coming out <coughs> and then here the uh, bell clean out nicely <coughs> on the reverse side is a uh, natural yeah you can see that you can see see all the greens the colors very nice and the uh, grooves here you can see the grooves there the patterns and also you see some uh, better scars like this you see better scars yeah it is uh it is the better scars because why this is a wild animal and you will challenge other to get the alpha position constantly so yeah, you see the colors again, then the patterns, yeah, the grooves, and some uh, uh, better scars again here and there. So you see that some are uh, tighter ribs here, yeah, here are wider, yeah, these are all natural patterns, and you uh, see the better, better scars here. So we do not want to just polish off all these patterns, these natural textures of the. Uh, horn kudu horn because why then it lost its uh, character so we just leave it as it is unless somebody say oh, i want it full polish then we will they will confirm it and we will just <coughs> full poly, full polish for them yeah but they must confirm it yeah if not afterward uh, it will be you can cannot reverse the situation anymore yeah so this is semi polish <coughs> so i'm going to uh, tune it right before you yeah it's already pre-drilled the hole yeah to save us on uh, some time of uh of tuning it so you see that already drilled out and then uh, now we're going to drill it with a cone shape tungsten carbide burr see that it's a cone shape yeah cut is a cross cut yeah cone shape and a uh, cutting point probably about 17 or so the uh, cutting point is uh, uh, the main thing is that you when you form the cup you know what the air flow is like yeah this one is uh, just a matter of uh, uh, a convenience to begin the uh, tuning of the sofa yeah okay you see that a cone shape <coughs> so <coughs> i'm going to enlarge this hole now has been enlarged can you see that yeah it's quite difficult to see i understand yeah because the color is the same so let's see this initial tuning <coughs> Now the uh, over a tungsten carbide burr, yeah, the cross cut point, cross cut head here, and uh, cutting cutting head here probably about I say 15, 15 or so. Let me just uh, give you a guideline. 
Uh, about uh, 10 10 mm yeah the length is about 10 mm cutting point and the width here maybe about five six yeah so the main thing is that we use it to enlarge the <coughs> mouthpiece to begin to form like a trumpet mouthpiece with a flare yeah it's a trumpet mouthpiece you see also right here there's a flare here yeah <coughs> and the cup is inside here yeah the, the bowl yes yeah, so they capture the breath so they can push through the uh, small hole inside there yeah so we are forming a natural uh, trumpet mouthpiece so using this i'm going to proceed to enlarge By enlarging it, I always try, I always want to maintain a 1mm yeah, the aging here. This is called the rim. The rim. You want to have a 1mm so that it won't cut your lips. Yeah, it will be more comfortable pressing against your lips. So, if I got this now, slightly bigger, I test the sound again. Yeah, this is to see how far the sound can go. And I will now begin to heat up the mouthpiece so that I can enlarge it with a uh, plumb bob, yeah, adapted plumb bob with a bolt here for me to hold so that I can leverage on the uh, expanding of the mouthpiece. <coughs> so this hot air hot air gun that I'm using now is up to about six, 600 plus degrees Celsius, and uh, it can melt the horn, it can melt your skin off your bone even. Yeah, so be careful. Don't let the children use it as a, a sort of gun and point at each other so because it will burn, burn, burn you badly. So, under supervision, under supervision. Yeah, without supervision. Yeah, so now, as it's already been heated up, it's more malleable. So, I'm going to enlarge the uh, mouthpiece there. Enlarging the mouthpiece. You can see the flare. Yeah, a flare like a trumpet mouthpiece, like a flare. Yeah, but my trumpet mouthpiece is bigger. But you don't put a trumpet mouthpiece into a shofa because it will develop a very long crack around here because this is the metal and when you push it in here and uh, our hand will be some contact be very itchy and we start to bang it bang it bang it and these things just go straight in, in, in because if you see this particular mouthpiece it is tapered you see that the uh, the tail here is tapered so if you bang it in it will just enlarge it and it will crack and then there goes your shofar <laughs> you need a lot of work of uh, expertise to over to try and salvage the horn yeah if not it's gone yeah so now as i have already enlarged it i want to see whether i have enlarged it evenly all around i just use a hand a fingertip to just uh, gauge it so i find that i need to uh, make it more even so i will just use this and uh, further enlarge on the sides here and that one side here must need to be enlarged a bit more. Yep. Okay, now.
We are tempering it, heating it up again to make it more malleable, the uh, horn, yeah, so that I can enlarge it bigger. And there it goes. Bigger, yeah. The internal cup, the water bowl to capture your bread is bigger, yeah. So now I'll just uh, since the edge is a bit on the sharp side, the edge here, I'll just use a sandpaper, maybe about 280 uh, waterproof uh, sandpaper, so that uh, it won't tear so easily and it's more easy to handle the sandpaper. It is uh, those that uh, are dry type and not waterproof type, uh, it can tear very easily and very difficult to handle. Yeah. yeah. So, done. Smoothen out the edge there. And let's hear the sound. <coughs> So far, five tones. So as you have seen this particular video, give us a light on this video. Uh, 1013J size. It will really encourage us to see a light on our video. Yeah, and also encourage other people as well to, to have a look and uh, decide for themselves the shofar that you want from our YouTube channel. We don't just show you a picture. We show you the actual crafts of it and the actual shape and some can be a straighter can be more curly so it's up to you it's your choice we have a lot of shofars yeah a lot are also sold so constantly we will post new video of our shofars so remember to like and uh, subscribe for constant updates of our shofar and also to share out with your friends to show them that this is what you see is what you get yeah, we won't send you any other shofar except this number, 1013. GSI, you say you want, you specify it this way. Yeah, so also the, uh, as you, you show, share with them, your network of friends, you encourage them to get shofars as well. If they are still uh, the undecided and don't know whether a picture is work correctly and you know, all the sound, so you see a video from us, Pastor Paul, shofar maker. And by doing so, you also help us to increase our subscriber base and we say thank you very much for watching. And remember, give us a like on our video. Thank you so much. Shalom.